I'm going to show you how to set up a mechanical timer. This is a GE timer, but other timers will work the same way. The white on the dial represents daylight hours and the dark on the dial represents nighttime hours. And the little symbols there will show you AM and PM. So this section is AM and this section is PM. So these are just a few things you'll want to know before you actually set the timer. The first thing we'll need to do is pull up on these little tabs. When you pull the timer out of the package, all of these tabs are pressed down. So we'll wanna pull them up. Now it's hard to see from this angle, so I'm gonna show you this picture. So the picture on the left is an example with all the tabs pushed down. And you can tell they're pushed down because it's level with the surface. You see there's no grooves, it's all level. The picture on the right shows all of the tabs pulled up. There's a little ledge. You can see it's no longer level with the numbers. It's pulled up, and so there's a little ledge now. Let's set the timer. To set the timer, you just push down on the notches in the time range that you want to set it. For example, I want mine to be on from 6 p.m. to about 2 a.m. So I'm going to push down all the notches in between 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. And I'm using this for my outdoor Christmas lights. And so that's the time that my Christmas lights will be on. They'll be on from 6 p.m. and then they'll turn off at 2 a.m. It's also important to note that every notch represents a half an hour. Okay, now the last thing we'll need to do is set the time of day that it is right now. You'll see the arrow there, it says time now. What time is it right now? Well, right now for me, it's about three o'clock. So you turn the entire dial until you get to three. And when you get to three, that is the current time. Right after you set it, plug it in and you're good to go. I hope this video helped you set your mechanical timer. If it helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you click the notification bell, you'll get a notification every time I release a new how-to video. Thanks for watching.